Shay, welcome to Aldershot Shot Town Football Club. Truth is, you've been here a little while and you've waited a little while for that debut, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Um, been here just over two months now, I think. Um, been very patient. Um, been training every, every day, obviously, with the squad and the team. And I'm just waiting for my opportunity. And my opportunity was last Saturday at Braintree. And you were kind of thrown into the fray. Uh, no disrespect to you, but we were reeling a bit with injuries, weren't we, last week? And you came on in uh, right midfield yeah, and helped us right. kind of see the game out a bit. Really, we weren't. You, it wasn't really one of those where you were going to get bombing down the wing and putting crosses in. You had a more defensive yeah, responsibility. I had um, more of a defensive responsibility. Get brain tree for the first 20 odd minutes after I come on, um, and then moved into centre mid just to solidify the yeah. the midfield again. Yeah. Um, obviously. I went in and done my job and I was happy with how I done. Um, and then today you thought you showed us what you could do at right back <laughs> for a yeah. little while, yeah? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'm originally a right back. Yeah. Um, I come here as a right back and I got my chance today. I thought I thought done okay, just first game after like three or four months, so just working my way back into it and obviously it's a new team, a new squad, so it takes time. Hopefully, I'll get a few more opportunities before the end, before the end of the season to yeah. show you more of what I've got and hopefully be a bit easier if, if wanted. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. No, um, we noted last week and uh, commentary you came on and settled in very quickly. Not easy to do, especially been watching for a long time. You picked up the pace of the game at Braintree and you were sensible on the ball. You did the right thing with it. And then uh, today, I mean, very very difficult. Not only making your full debut in front of a decent crowd here today. Um, but very often in those early exchanges, trying to jump up for a ball with a guy about a foot taller than you. He's a big guy, wasn't he, Hobson? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, um, he's a handful. They're the obstacles you have to, yeah. you have to kind of come up against every week, and especially in conference and in man's football. Mm. And obviously the more opportunities I get to defend and play against bigger players, obviously the better and um, the better I'll get at it, obviously. I wanted to give you a bit of credit because uh, obviously, unfortunately, we gave away the penalty early on and we're 1-0 down. And we've always been chasing the game today, which is difficult at any level. But uh, there was a couple of times in the first half where Chester could have got a second. One of them when, when it looked Hobson rose at the far post and it really looked like he would he would head in, but you somehow did just enough to put him off. Definitely, yeah. yeah. That's what you've got to do as a defender. If you can't win it, then hopefully you put your body in a position where you can affect the outcome and luckily that time I did and um, he didn't get his head on it fully and obviously it didn't go in the back of our net, which I'm very happy about. Obviously disappointing for us all that Aldershot have lost the game today but uh, focusing a little bit more on yourself and, and, and your background, uh, I understand you're a West Ham yeah. fan at heart and that's pretty much where you began your career isn't it as yeah, well? Um, I started at West Ham when I was seven years old. Um, I was there up until 18 didn't get my professional contract at West Ham. Mm. Um, I then moved to Port Vale, which I was there for a year last season. Mm. Again, that didn't quite work out. And I've just been grinding, trying to get an opportunity in a club. And thankfully, I got the opportunity with all the shot. Like you said, I've been there two months now. Mm. And I'm just over the moon with the opportunity I got today. And hopefully, I get a few more opportunities to come on and do what I want, what I can do and show you what I can do and obviously the more times I play the, the better and more experience I'll get at playing at this level and at all the And you have friends and, and colleagues who've had to go through similar to you where they've perhaps been with a big professional club like West Ham but sometimes you have to drop down a little level to, to, to just to get a foothold don't you and to start getting what you must really really crave which is just to play football competitively week in week out. Yeah definitely that's that's what that's my aim. That's that's my plan. And like I said, hopefully next year I'll get called back and maybe I can get a few more games in and play more regularly and um, hopefully um, keep my place at right back. Did you know much about Aldershot Town? Were you involved um, with West Ham presumably when Aldershot came and won there in the Carling Cup a few yeah, years ago? Yeah, we West Ham come here and obviously in the Carling Cup and two years ago. West Ham on the 18s played here in the FA Youth Cup. Mm. I wasn't involved in that game, I was, I was in for that game. Mm. But yeah, I've been in and around here, plus my little cousin used to play here last year, so mm. I know quite a few, or I know about the club. And mm. obviously, I love the club, I've been here two months and 
I can't say what word about this. Word for the pitch. Um, you know, it looks great. It looks like it's really recovered well and uh, thanks a little bit of credit to Chelsea in that. But uh, do you enjoy playing on that surface? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Obviously a good pitch makes a difference. And it is a very, very good pitch. Yeah. Just unfortunately today we didn't use it to the best of our abilities and the result obviously showed that. What was your thoughts on the game to, to us watching it looked not so much like, not in any way a typical end of season game, it was really, really highly competitive, but it looked very ragged towards the end. It looked like all the shape had gone from both teams and they were just going for it with what they had left. Yeah, um, like you said, the game wasn't the best of games. It was a bit ragged and the ball was in the air quite, quite a lot, um, front to back and mm. same from them. Um, I feel, I feel we just uh, better dig deep today. And unfortunately, we didn't get enough chances, and the chances we did get, we didn't put them away. And hopefully, next game, which is Wrexham, I think, um, we can do a lot better and hopefully put a few of them chances in and obviously get the three points. Um, and, uh, and in terms of your own physical condition, obviously, one or two players going down like flies around you. You know, one or two of the boys are really coming towards the end of a long, hard season now. You did take a knock yourself. Did you recover okay from that? And uh, will you be fine for Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Just mm. ankle locked up at the beginning of the first half. Got, got through it. Um, like I said, it's my first game in nearly like four months. So obviously it's going to take time. I'm happy that I got through 75 minutes, 76 minutes, which is obviously good. And hopefully I get my chance again on Tuesday. And I'll feel a lot fitter and stronger. We look forward to seeing you again. Congratulations on your full debut today. Thanks a lot. And let's hope the next time we speak is after a win. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Jay.